Yeah, stop. That's exactly what you need to do and get onto this test in the tip series because it is working no end for me. And I've got a feeling it could do you a favor as well. So basically as an average golfer, I'm testing some of the tips off the leading YouTubers. The tuition out there is unreal right now. And I cannot move myself from Alex Elliott's channel because some of the things that he's relaying to me, I'm interpreting into my own game. And I've got to say, it's having a profound effect and this golf ball with these markings is going to change things significantly yet again now there's nothing worse than uncertainty when you're playing golf and kind of not really knowing what you should be doing in certain situations and that situation being in this case um, where you position yourself in terms of your hands in terms of ball position when you move from hit and driver or when you look to play an iron and these little markings on the ball that I referred to they can be a real help in making sure you get to that exact position and the correct position first of all starting with driver and how these three little dots are going to help get us in a perfect driver setup now the first thing we need to do is mark the golf ball and that's where we'll start and I'll explain as to why but essentially we're going to put three dots on the right hand side of this golf ball I'm using this center line in my Mizuno golf ball there's my three dots and then on the opposite side of that I'm going to put a cross now what I would suggest is you use a uh, your regular marker pen and not a ballpoint because they may stay on a little bit better but the question is why is that going to help us with our setup right so the first thing we're going to do with these three dots is we're going to use them to get our stance and ball position correct so all we're going to do we're going to address the ball with the center line in between the middle of our two feet we're going to flare our left foot a little bit and our right foot we're just going to take a step back to our normal driver position and straight away as you can see from above i've now got a perfect position in terms of that ball ready to hit my driver on the upswing the next thing i'm going to do it's about that tilt in the shoulders to make sure they're on an upward angle and the way we're going to do that is that our top half our chest center of our chest is going to be leaning backwards from our belt buckle if you like so belt buckle stays where it is I look and focus at the three dots and I look at them on the back side so the X being this side the three dots being that side I keep my belt buckle where it is and then I look to look at these on the back side and straight away you'll see the plane of my shoulders is now in a perfect driver position so the stance is correct I've now got a nice position in terms of those shoulders and then there's one final thing and that's the grip now you may notice we have moved tee box because we had a game coming behind us but I can demonstrate how quick this is to put into action as well so we start off like I said two feet together center stripe of the ball is going right through I flare my left foot and take a step back with my right then it's about getting the center of my top half moved to the right and keeping my belt buckle still uh, central if you like so that tilt comes from looking at that golf ball and I'm good to go at this point there's only one thing left and it was the explanation as how and where my hands are positioned in this swing and once again that is going to be those three dots that play a key role because from where I am right now I'm just going to push them slightly forward so that my knuckles are in line with those three dots and I don't know how that looks but it feels like a real solid setup position I've got my fundamentals right with my driver setup and there's every reason why I cannot or there's no reason why I shouldn't hit a good swing right now that's exactly what we're going to do and then I'm going to explain how you do the exact opposite almost in your iron setup and use that cross That's a little bit tighter to the water than I'd want it to have been. 
let me see it bounce it's bounced and it's good and it's just a quick and easy way of making sure you get into that exact position it's fundamentals at the end of the day but they've got to be right so now the little bit of extra is how we're going to use the cross on the ball to make sure we get in the right position for our irons because it is very very different as you probably know but if you don't make sure you check this bit out today's video is brought to you in association with channel travel partner glencore golf and this week they've sent me out onto the algarve in portugal where i will be playing three different golf courses quinta da val quinta da ria and quinta da cima and i'll be staying in nearby tavera at the ap cabanas resort the hotel is a modern design with stunning rooms and balcony views to match and this resort has an all-inclusive option pour yourself a beer a glass of wine and take the hassle out of golf trip planning the nearby town of Tavira is just minutes away. Today's video is filmed at Quinta de Sima, which is located alongside sister course Quinta de Ria, both of which are just a five minute drive from my AP Cabanas Hotel. There is the odd water hazard to avoid, and then you can finish the day off with a visit to the Contemporary Clubhouse. So if you want more information about this golf trip itself or any other that you might be considering planning right now, then please head over to glencourtgolf.com for some more booking information. Now, as ever, I examine these tips and there's a slight flaw in this one for me in that the cross is used to get you set up with an iron. The problem with that is you can only use that when you're on a tee box. You can't obviously reposition your ball when you're in the middle of the fairway and the likely of it coming to rest in the exact position you want it to be in. That, like I said, is not going to happen. So that's something to be mindful of. But for the sake of this, what we're going to do, we are going to point the, uh, the cross, if you like, at our alignment target and I'm going to use the principle that Alex suggests now that we adopt in terms of these three dots and how they become the focus of attention for our iron setup. So the three dots are always the thing that become our focus of attention. The cross is obviously the bit that we don't want to be looking at. So we're going to address the ball first of all. Feet together, line of the ball is centered to my, uh, to my two feet. I'm going to move one to the left and one to the right and I've got a ball that's pretty much center of my stance. That's all fairly straightforward. We've then got the position of my hands which we looked at which was basically this time as I'm stood right now my hands are or my knuckles are in line with the cross on top of the ball I'm going to move them forward so their knuckles become in a much more forward press almost like position and in line with those three dots which have now moved to left of center with driver they were right of center so I hope that makes sense so I'm now in this good position but you'll have also noticed my chest as well. We're not looking for that tilt that we adopt when we're playing driver. We're looking for a slight sort of almost keeping the shoulders level, but making sure that we're slightly balanced towards that left hand side. And I mean slightly, it's pretty much a central situation we're trying to adopt right now. So stance is good ball position wise shoulders are good and my weight is slightly on the forward side but my hands again have adopted position that are leaning towards that left hand side and knuckles are now looking right down where i'm at right now are looking at those three dots it's the perfect checkpoint and obviously when we're in a real-time situation and we can't do this the ball has come to rest and we can't see those dots then you've got to visualize that same principle and get your setup nice and quick now all we've got to do is hit a golf shot a really solid strike the first thing that was of note was how crisp that was and more of a downward blow that you're looking for with your irons and for me one thing i've learned and one thing i've picked up on from this tip is that to get my hands forward they sort of creep a little bit back in my almost like my driver position and that means i'm not in a position to um, put a downward blow onto the iron that has helped out massively and it's then just that overall ball position you'll notice again from the ground i don't take a divot but this has got uh, a downward blow and taking just a little bit of a clip as well so overall i just cannot thank alex elliott enough in terms of single-handedly giving me some nuggets of information that are helping me throughout the game and i hope that can help you as well it's all about the viewpoint it's all about marking your golf ball up go out and try it yourself i hope you enjoyed that one i'm here at quinta de cima in the Algarve, Portugal with uh, Glencore Golf and plenty more to come from here. I can see someone is arriving on the tee behind me. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you all tomorrow night.